is something that really screws with me is that when you move as your character in Demon's Souls, he takes like a full step. So you can't... In later games, you can immediately teleport back and forth by changing direction instantly, and your character doesn't move in the process. Which, uh, while not necessarily the most realistic thing ever, it can be very useful for not falling off ledges. There we go. That's the only stun of ephemeral eyes that I remember the location of, so... Say goodbye to that. <laughs> Everything else will just be incidental findings that I don't- I didn't have memorized. There's an item over there. Oh, I think that's where the blacksmith is. So that's later. Let's see, so these guys are dead, so I can safely pick up this item without rocks being thrown at me. Sticky white stuff. Oh yeah. I believe sticky white stuff and patches and if, and moonlight greatsword are all under that category of from software stuff that you reuse from game to game on a regular basis. Applies right hand one right hand weapon enchant. So enchant is magic damage, whereas turpentine is fire damage. Is the main distinction here. These guys are, as the description said, these guys are all just mindlessly working, so if I just peace out, they'll probably not take immediate interest. They're all cut. Oh. Is he mad about something? Oh, he's mad about something. I'm not finding you in that tunnel where somebody might aggro behind me without my welcome. Boing! There you go. Yep. Wasn't very nice of you to turn around and attack me like that. I was just I was just letting you be. I was wandering on off. Not only not only the they, they mindlessly tunneling, they're not even using tools. That which is actually genuinely mindless, I suppose. Look at them pots, look at them Hanna Barbaric pots, they're so brightly glowing. Because the flooding engine's not treating them correctly. Boink. Not necessarily my best call. They look mad at me. Yeah. Oh boy. I think I pissed everybody off. That's fine. I'm just. I just got one of those faces, I guess. That's not a backstab. <laughs> Boy, are they going to take an eternity to fight. I should not have done that just now. It was a mistake. Ah, I can't backstab him because it's so finicky. Ow. AoE damage. AoE damage. AoE damage. Keep it going. Oh no! Oh no! I accidentally did a forward attack instead of an actual attack. That's a habit I never kick in any of the games. All, th all throughout the franchise, I still manage to like, instead of doing a proper attack, I'll sometimes be like, do, I'll like do a hand gesture. It's like, no! There we go, things are clearing out a lot now. all that stuff. Yeah, if you see a guy with a bag, then much like a lizard, he probably carries a bunch of shit. So murder the hell out of him. I don't think anyone in the first room had bags though, right? They're just dudes. Yeah, they're just random dudes. The bags are the only real reward, I think. Otherwise, you're just killing dudes for the sake of it. Okay, I can see your, I can see your, your tail now. Spider stone. Okay, that was abrupt. Oh boy, and the fire too. You guys really brought out the whole package, huh? Ouchies. Oh, you're gonna be a problem, ain't you? Oh, you're gonna be a problem. Okay, no, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's a problem. I can't even move. Howdy. 
How, well, how did I hit? Wait, how did I miss the other one? How did I only hit that one? There we go. Just gotta thin the numbers and it's easier, but the initial three is a problem. There we go. I probably should be using the smaller ones. Yeah. Did he just leave the fight or something? Does he remember we were doing a thing? Ow. Hey, you. Hey, you, what are we doing? We doing a thing? There we go. Dogs are always hard. They're just always hard to fight. Every single game. All the way back to the first one. Although those deem those bloodborne ones though, Jesus. The bloodborne ones are a real problem. This one is more me this one somewhat to do with me just dealing with the fact that I've given myself a awkward weapon for fighting dogs with. The smarter thing would be to switch weapons. Somebody shooting at me? Yeah, he is. Look at him up there. Being a prick. I'm gonna get in this room with you, huh? I don't think you have any backup in here, right? Oh yeah, A plus camera right there. There we go. What you garden? You got you got some upgrade items? You got upgrade items? Is that what you got? Ooh. Clear stone. Use clear stone to destroy your augmentations and your weapons and revert them back to normal. Never done that before. I don't remember if you have to... I don't remember if you have to re revert them to normal in order to re-enchant them or not. That was a, that's a thing in... That might be a thing in some... in, in this game and, and Dark Souls 1. I don't really remember. But I think... I think by Dark Souls 2 and 3, I think you could just transmute from one element to another directly without ha Oh, I thought you were the one that had low health. Whoops. I think you can transmute directly from element to element in 2 and 3. So that the only real use of that item would be to completely remove an enchantment just for the sake of removing it, which... I'm not sure if that's applicable, usually. Some dude breathing really loudly. It's just rude, frankly. Dude needs to learn how to close his mouth. Hello. Nope. Oh, you're faster than I am. That's a problem for me. Swing at me! Oh, I missed. Awkward. Ow. Jesus. You're really nailing the whole vacant stare thing, you know that? A plus. Oh, he didn't- oh, he iframed- not iframed, but he, uh, he hyper-armored really hard there. He just tanked it. I am doing bad things to my healing supply. Rout Rowl. Is there anything in here? <laughs> really these internal these internal locations with location that especially have things your camera can clip through. Really just highlight the strengths of this camera system. <laughs> Thankfully you can look around corners. That makes it a better stealth camera than the one in Ocarina of Time. Ooh, Zelda burn. Something, something. Ooh, pickaxe. Take that, 1997. <laughs> you gonna shoot me with fire? See you there, looking at me. Ah, we've escaped. Sweet release. Unfortunately, I seem to know exactly what you're about to do. Where do you drop? What's below us? Not the happiest time. Is it? it might be this side. Oh, I guessed wrong. That's what guessing wrong does. Ooh, unknown soldier. 
Is there an item down there? No, that's the drop off. Uh, your randos. Oh, you got a bag. That means you die. Sorry, but you have a bag and I want it. Oh god, he's gonna punch me. <laughs> he has backup. I didn't tell you you could bring friends. Unsportsmanlike. Whereas I was completely sportsmanlike in the way that I was trying to mug you. Ooh, other friends are coming. How nice of them. They even have stuff. Thanks for bringing your stuff, guys. Ow. Just gonna slowly hack away at them for a while. I need their stuff. It's really useful. These guys just have upgrade materials that they just carry around for fun. So on top of having the bag, they have glowy eyes. Just to make it really... Sh just try to make it as clear as possible that they're, they're the important ones. Oh. Follow up. I, follow, I tried to do the fast follow up swing, but that was still, still too slow. Oh, clear stone, though. That's pretty useless. Oh, well. Do you even need more than one clear stone? I don't even know. I mean, you need more than one for the other stuff, but I would kind of think the clear stone would be like all or nothing. That you might, might just need one per item. Sorry. They're not even worth... It's not even really worth the effort. They give you three souls. Once you're committed, you're committed, right? Whoop. Oh, Jesus. I got my hidden, but what at, at what cost? That guy's just off doing this. Just off doing this thing. Nope. Neither of them have bags. No one here. Oh, one of them has glowy eyes. Yeah, they frame falling down like it's a problem, but honestly, it's kind of important to come down here. Get a little bit of progression here. They just trick you into doing it via the ambush falling bridge. Which I misremembered which side was the safe side. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Don't, don't bring your friends into this. They get to live if you did. You, oh, see, they could have lived and you, you fucked it up. They're probably still going to live. If I just go around them a little bit. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Ooh, that was actually the good stuff. Ah! Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Gotta do a quick lap. It is interesting not ever having Estus be part of the equation. On one hand, it's a bummer because I I that mean I I have to farm healing items if I get in trouble. I'm not ever happy about that. So I'm not psyched about the the Bloodborne Demon Souls system of farmable healing items for that reason. But uh, the blood but Bloodborne was extra weird because they stuck with Estus in the way that. Uh, Bloodborne was still Estus flasks because you still had to uh, hold on to a specific number of items and like, oh Jesus, had a there we go. Would you not? Bloodborne was still Estus flasks in function in that you can only hold on to like 20 of those healing items. And then after you had a certain number of them, you couldn't carry anymore and you'd replenish them from your stock. Oh, he's alive. Oh, he probably dropped a thing and he fell down there. Crap. Oh, well. Another lap for me. But I really don't like Bloodborne's system, because they kept the limited supply of healing items from Demon's Souls, but also kept made it uh, a limited pool, like in Dark Souls, which I'm fine with limiting your healing items so that the game doesn't give you- so you can't heal infinitely in a game, but if you're gonna do it- if you're gonna kinda do Estus Flasks, just do Estus Flasks, it's fine. You don't have to call it Estus Flasks, call them blood- even just call them blood vials, but, you know, they replenish like Estus Flasks. Because I, I don't like the idea of, like, in- in- in Bloodborne and, uh, in Demon's Souls, 
if you die too much, the healing items you use while you're dying go away forever. And so eventually, if you're stuck enough on a boss, like, you'll just run out of healing items completely, and then you're like, well, now I'm extra fucked in this playthrough. Because I'm completely out of healing items, and I still can't beat that boss, but now I've got- but... The game's response to you having trouble with the game is not to get easier, but to get significantly harder. Which, I'm not saying get easier, but getting harder is a bit of a dick move. This game already has a thing where your health goes down by half when you die. But then you have the issue of like, oh, I've, I've died so much I've run out of healing items. Now the game's saying, hey, you know that boss you can't beat? Now beat it with no healing items at all. I'm like, that's... Why, why are you kicking me while I'm down, Demon Souls? Why have you done this to me? I got stuck fighting Gascoigne in Bloodborne, and I had to farm goddamn healing uh, items by just running... I just had to pl I played the same level over and over and over again to get more healing items to drop so I could then fight Gascoigne again because I was just having trouble adapting to Bloodborne's gameplay style and I was just like, this isn't helping. <laughs> this isn't... I don't feel better about the game. I know there's like... De there's like Soulsborn like sadists that uh, will just accept everything the franchise does as, as gospel or something, but I, I don't think that's... I think Estus Flasks are like a fantastic choice and divergence away from Estus Flasks is actually, like, a pretty not great choice. I think it was a clear upgrade from Demon's Souls to Dark Souls. So when they went back to it for Bloodborne, I was just confused by why, the, why they would make that choice. I did it again for Ludwig, too. That, that was a horrible experience. But I found a specific loop of th where they would always drop just enough that I would have a net gain of, like, one if I killed those exact enemies that weirdly consistently always dropped them. Which I took as a- I took them as them basically admitting that this was a problem. Was that on the bo on the way to the first DLC boss in Bloodborne, there's three or so enemies off in a corner that always drop a large quantity of healing items when you kill them right before the boss. And they're very easy to kill. So they're basically giving you this infinitely farmable amount of very easy to get healing items. Basically just completely nullifying the entire point of having a limited supply in the first place. And I just took that to mean, basically, they were well aware of the fact that, uh... This was a, a mistake, and that I, I would be surprised if Bloodborne still had limited healing items. This is such a trap. Oh, it's such a nasty little trap. Who's a nasty trap? Ouchie. I'm on fire. Ooh, you coming? You coming, buddy? You coming? You gonna do a little bouncy hop? You gonna do it? You gonna do a little pounce? You gonna pounce at me? Ooh, doo -doo -doo. I love your insane little like multi roll that you do in this game, where you can just like, you can just keep going for a bit, and it's really fast. It's so bizarrely graceful for a har for an armored character to, to move like that, and I love it. It's fantastic. And it's full on OG. Dumb as hell's ragdolls, yeah! Oh well. An attempt was made. I think one of them fell in and died. I think one of them had trouble uh, pathing and just fell in and died down there. I think the other ones will only aggro. I think they can't aggro, actually. Despite the fact that they're clung to walls, I don't think they can climb on walls. I think their only way of getting off of walls is to fall off of them. So I think if you shot them with arrows, they would just fall into the pit. I don't think they'd actually... ...pursue you. Step, uh, pro tip, don't fall in the lava, it's bad for you. I know, shocking. Oh, Jesus! Forgot you have a little shank move. Whoa! Misjudged that range pretty hard. So they, have, they have different weapons, actually. Which means they have different attack animations, despite the fact- despite the, the apparent visual similarity. One of them has a small one that they tries to shank you with, and the other one has a, like, a broad sword he does broad attacks with. While both of them have fire weapons, so they have... Ar ar da uh, armor penetration. Multi-target attacks, go! There we go. You dead? You dead. 
some rando somewhere died because I got I got souls in the middle of that fight and it wasn't from them. I think some off-camera character fell in a hole. As they do. Howdy. Don't mind me. Oh, embarrassing. Oh, embarrassing. There we go. Oops. Can't have you living after I embarrass myself. Then, then there'd be witnesses, and we can't have that. Oink. Look at Mr. Hammerman. Hey, Hammerman. Die. I can't have your society learning how to use weapons. You'll be so dangerous to me as a bag wielder. My real motivation is here, here is I want to kill the two that have weapons because there's two that have bags. And I don't want them to be a problem. There we go. The overhead swing range is fantastic. This... Oh. Bit of a weird... Ow. Bit of a weird stance for using a sword, though. Just like... I'm just... I look like I'm, I'm swinging a hammer at a carnival to hit that bell. Kudos to them for trying to hit you with a bag of rocks. I mean, that's gotta hurt. Admittedly, I'm armored, but still. It's a bag of rocks. They use what they got. Whoa! It's a large number. Why is it... I, I don't understand why they're not stacked, though. How many heartstones did you get? Uh, two, two, one, 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 one. <laughs> you mean nine or whatever? No, no, two, two, one, 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 one. Oh, hey, look down there. The world's not loaded, so you can see through the gate, and then you can see the cliff through the gate. Because the, inter the interior of that level is unloaded to make the game run faster. But you can see it from here. Whoopsie! L listen though, this is Demon Souls. So like, they... All co any corners that could be cut to make this game run better were and should be, because... This thing was- this thing... Has some difficulties. Anything they can do to prevent another Blight Town should be done to prevent, to prevent another Blight Town. I think the problem with- oh, I should have gone there. I think the problem with Blight Town was that, uh... They got themselves in a trap where they didn't make any buildings with interiors. And so since there was no uh, building interiors... Here we go. Since there was no building interiors, they couldn't unload anything, really. Like, everything was in line of sight, so the game just had to keep the whole thing loaded. But it was just way too much crap. Uh-oh. Hello. Uh -oh. Okay, we're fine. The fa your fall speed is so slow in this game that it makes elevators terrifying, because they can outpace you. <laughs> kind of. It's, at least they can outpace you enough to make you worried that you're, that you're not going to catch it in time to avoid massive damage. I don't remember if there's anything weird to hear, but I'm worried. Who wouldn't walk up to this ledge and just, just assume it's gonna just collapse under you? I wouldn't trust it. And you shouldn't either. Hmm. I haven't seen you around these parts. What does it matter? You need a blacksmith, show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit chat. Forging weapons strengthens it. It alters its character. Wars are transmogrified sprites. Their presence blesses the weapon. Wars are trans. So, this is the brother of the blacksmith that's in the Nexus right now. He seems to have stayed here despite how. how screwed up everything is around here, because he seems to value his art over all else, so he just sort of... just sort of stuck around and chose not to leave, I guess, which, you know, admirable, I suppose, but he seems to be giving into the same obsession that leads to these guys working non-stop all day, and it's sort of shown by the fact that he's covered in those scales on his body, you know, when his brother is not covered in said scales. Report, let's repair my basic equipment before I get into some trouble here. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's only slightly damaged. It's nowhere near the amount of damage it would need to actually be unusable. But it already cost me 240 to repair each one? 
It, mu it must be a standard price for the entire equipment, no matter how... That's not based on how damaged it is. Upgrades? Oh yeah, now that I've been in this zone, I have the upgrades available. Let's look at that crushing battle axe a little bit, huh? If I upgraded this one to a plus two, I can't because I need Greystone. It would then do 96 damage, so it would still be behind the Bastard Sword in damage. I might keep going, even though it's, it might not be the best weapon. Oh well. Whoopsie! Can I upgrade it again? Quality. Oh, clear stones used for that? I thought it was for making... Was I wrong? Maybe I was. So quality will make it scale better with dexterity. Whereas this makes it scale uh, better with both a little bit, because it's just a standard upgrade. Which I might just keep going down that path. I need large hardstone shards and normal hardstone shards. Because they made this really complicated in this game. Then there's a... Uh, there's crushing. I need graystone for that. You can make it a crushing. That makes it have better strength scaling, whereas quality makes you have better dex. And there's dragon. You need dragonstone for this. I only have one. You need four. But it makes it so that it does equal parts fire and physical damage, but then it completely removes the scaling altogether. And then you can... Oh, melt stone is what you use to revert it back to normal. I mixed that up with clear stone. I mean, you could see where that mistake would come from. I'm just gonna keep going, I think. So next, uh, the plus five rank will require four more hard stone and one more large hard stone. And then I'll keep doing more damage with each upgrade. All right. Not the worst. I do think that the upgrade was worthless. That uh, I think repairing it was worthless because I think that it, I think repair uh, I think upgrading it might also repair it, making it kind of pointless to do the, uh, both. But here you can see the scales in his body. He's looking a lot like the enemies all around the environment. Look at that moving mouth, by the way. He has a moving mouth. He seems to be continually talking as if he's an NPC in, in interaction. It's part of a weird trend where uh, From Software keeps giving their uh, mouth animations to their blacksmiths and no one else. Because pretty much throughout the Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne shared universe thing. Not universe, shared. Oh shit, the exit was on this side, wasn't it? Whoops. I'm gonna have to, ri I'm gonna have to ride it around. Uh, pretty much throughout the entire five games, whatever you want to call them as a, as a thing. Uh, nobody ever moves their mouth when they talk. Except the blacksmiths. Specifically the ones that are, uh, Andre of Astora, those two. And then this guy. These two blacksmiths here. They just weirdly have articulating mouths. Not really sure why. So because of the lack of SS flasks, I don't have, I don't have some grand reward for coming back here. Uh, the way you do with bonfires to restore, but I'm just going to do my due diligence Hello at again. emptying my crap. Because we don't want to have a full inventory or bad things will happen. And I'm just loading up on a lot of rocks. And as you might imagine, rocks are kind of goddamn heavy. A lot of rocks. Did I have armor yet? Nope. But I had the crushing battle axe. And whatever the other thing was, I clicked too fast. Whoops. All them souls. Souls. I might be able to level up if I use all of them. I'm not really sure. Don't let them, don't let them take that from you. There she is. Can I get one more level out of her? The requirement for leveling up is 3678. I am here. 3678. How much is these? 1000. Is that enough already? No. Let's use the smallest ones next then. There we go. Give me them hit points. There we go. And now I'm safely moving forward with as few remaining uh, souls on my character as possible. And a bit more health. I want to keep up with the... Uh... Oh crap, I'm using the item load thing still. 
I only saw it there when I saw the buff. Whoopsie. I should be using uh, flame resistance. They're shooting fireballs at me and I'm not using flame resistance. Boy, did I screw that up. <laughs> 